Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel tonight. And it is night. It's 3.30 in the morning. Uh, we are going to take a look at the John Deere cotton baling add-on. Uh, a lot of cool stuff came with this pack. Uh, it is $4.99. It'll be available tomorrow. So by the time you see this video, it's probably already available because it took me so long to make the video. Anyway, that's a long story. Uh, so if you like cotton, this is your chance to have a John Deere branded harvester. Um, and you can see it's all unfolded here. They do this so that you can fit it inside the building. And then you'll you'll see it in action. Um, this also comes with some neat pieces of equipment um, along with the harvester. Uh, because the John Deere harvester does things a little bit differently than the Case harvester. The Case harvester makes square bales. The John, Dale Har John Deere harvester makes round wrapped cotton bales. Okay. So um, you're going to have to handle them differently. The first thing they've done... They've given us uh, an RB module, which instead of carrying one square bale, it carries two round bales. Same amount of material, but just in a different format. We also have this red trailer. Uh, this is uh, the same thing as the white one, but once again, this carries four of those bales. Um, now, for some reason, each of these trailers is $1,000 more than the square bale equivalent. I don't know why, but they are. But that's what this does. So four round bales. And then we have, in addition to that, we have this trailer here that picks up three. And it's got an arm that actually picks them up off the field. So that's pretty cool. So this is a pretty neat device. Um, along with these pieces of equipment, we also have some cool bale handling options. This guy goes on the front of a tractor and is used like a shovel. You need to have a very large tractor. So this is going to, from the John Deere 7 Series on, um, in the large tractor category, you probably could use a medium-sized tractor with a big weight, a counterweight on it um, to balance it out. I probably would not use this on a small tractor. Uh, but it basically hooks to the three-point hitch on the front of the tractor, and you can raise and lower it. And then you can also open and close it to grab a bale and pick it up. Um, we have this one that we use uh, to pick it up by the wrapping so that you don't rip the wrapping uh, with these nice soft metal <laughs> they're rounded so they don't rip any kind of uh, plastic material. And then last but not least, we have a bale fork that you'll stick through the center of the bale to move it. So you can either use this, which is more expensive, or this, or this. Um, these two attachments fit on both a telehandler and a front loader. So um, there is that. Oh, I forgot to slow down time. All right, so let's hop out to the field and see this junk in action. The first thing I'm going to show you is the uh, lights on... It's pretty cool stuff. There we go. Got a beacon, beacon system. And I want to show you this. When you go to use the unit, you're going to fold it up, and it goes into operation mode. You can see there, you know, the case does this too, where it, it kind of lowers down, and then now it's ready for operation. Um, once again, they do that so that you can fit it under things, uh, also fit it into buildings a little bit easier because, obviously, most buildings don't have doors that are that high. Um so that's what it looks like once it's all folded up and ready to operate. Uh, the bale fills up 25%. Like the cotton will fill up that front chamber 25%. We'll hop out and look at this because it's easier for me to show you this way. This front chamber here where my mouse is pointing, and that goes and will go on the other side here, right here. That chamber fills up to about, I think it's 2,500 uh, liters of cotton. And then that gets dumped into here, into the back chamber. And it rolls it up. And then another 2,500 goes in here and it rolls it up until you have 10,000. So four times this is going to fill up. And then it goes into here uh, and becomes 100% full. Once this is 100% full, it's going to wrap it. And then it's going to poop it out the back. And the bale is going to sit on the back door here. Um, you can leave it on the back door. You don't have to dump it off. When this fills up, it'll automatically dump that off and the next bale will fall out. So that's how that operates. Let's go ahead and see it in action. So here we are out in the field. I got a worker already in progress. He is harvesting the cotton off the field. And you can see here I've got the bale hanging out the back. You can also see down at the bottom right, uh, you can see the chamber filling up there with 1,200. When that gets to 2,500, it'll dump into the back chamber that I showed you. Once that reaches 100%, it comes out the back as a wrapped bale. So you can see that's what it looks like when it's operating. You don't really see a whole lot happening, um, but when it flushes it, I'll, I'll come back and I'll show you that happening. In the meanwhile, let's take a look at the product. 
So we have these nice round manageable cotton bales. Those big square bales are a little bit more difficult to manage, but these are nice. So let's go ahead and play with the tractor and move some of these around and I'll show you how the trailers work while we're doing that. Okay, so we have this on the back of the tractor. You can put it on the front or the back. I feel that the back is probably a little bit better because it's you got the weight of the engine up front counterbalancing the 10,000 pounds of 10,000 liters of cotton. There we go. I just didn't have it properly. And I'm off kilter a little bit, but whatever. Oh, I'm going to shove it off. No, no, no. There we go. All right, so we got the bale picked up, and that's one way to do it. So, you know, because obviously when you're doing these bales, you're going to need to get them off the field. Now, I think this is, it might, the physics might cause it to slide out, though. It looks like it's staying pretty tight. Tight. And once again, I don't know if we physically see this dump out. I, I want to stop over here because this is almost full, so we'll let it run till it's full. Um, you guys can get a chance to see the hopper that is now, what is it, almost 100% full. See it down in there. That's going to empty out into the back chamber. All right, so here we go. It's about to unload. Let's see it happen. There we go. You can see it going down in the back, and it's going to go into the back of the unit, and it's gone. And it starts to fill up all over again. So there's that thing right there. I just wanted to show you that happening. So let's go on and look at the rest of our bale picking up system. All right, so here's the next device. This is a... Whoops. Bale grabber. Automatic loading wagon. This holds three big bales. <coughs> we'll take these over to the side and play with them. So you could use this to transport these off the field. I don't... Depending how close you are to the cotton factory, I think in real life... The farmer would use these to deliver these to the side of the road. And then a truck would come by and pick them up and take them to the market. The tractor wouldn't take them all the way. Whoops. So there we go. It's a three baler, three bale grabber. There we go. Now it's funny, it'll open again even though there's nothing to grab. You can't grab anything because it's full. That's weird. We're going to drop these off right here, and we're going to use that semi-truck over there, or the uh, fork loader, front loader over there, to move these bales in the different ways that we can with the different tools they've given us. So, we'll pop those off. There we go. I should have sat still while I was taking those off. It makes a nice clean stack when you sit still, but because I moved it, messed up one of them. So let's go ahead and grab the W190. You can also do this with a telehandler. Once again, this attachment and the other attachment both work with the telehandlers. So um, you don't have to use this attachment. Or you don't have to use a, a big front loader. You can use a telehandler also. So just so you know... down on the ground and pick this up there we go and we can also squeeze it a bit if we want to I don't know why you do that but you can squeeze it a little bit now I have tried um, wow it's trying to jump out look at that there we go now I'll stop works just like the square baler or the square bale trailer, just it holds four. There we go. Whoop. And so we can just load it right in like that. So once again, this just has a lot of different ways of loading and unloading bales. You can kind of pick and choose what you want. But I like it because it's a system. You know, you're going to pull the bales off the field. Then you're going to load them onto a truck and send them off for delivery. And that's... That's cool that they gave us the whole system. So it's one of the things that makes the DLC worthwhile. It's not just the new tractor. It's It's got some extra equipment with it that make it a system. And that's what we're looking for um, to make something worthwhile. So is it worth it? Um, I would say yes. I mean, once again, this is going to have us a very specific appeal. People that are interested in making round cotton bales that are wrapped, but they like doing cotton, this gives you a whole new group of things to play with. 
If you're a John Deere fan and you were hoping for a cotton harvester, now's your chance to get one for fairly cheap at five bucks. If you're angry about... There we go. <laughs> Bloop. So there's that. Uh, if you're angry about the DLC being five dollars, well, wait till it's two fifty when it goes on sale next year. It will go on sale at some point, and it'll be cheap. But uh, otherwise, I think it's a good DLC. It's not m anything massive. It's not like the Anderson DLC where they give you a whole bunch of new stuff. It's a couple new things, but they are new things, and they do add some new functionality to the game. And once again, if I'm looking for is it a worth it type thing for five bucks. With the amount of things that they've added, I'd say yes. Let's take a look here real quick. No, that's not done yet, so we'll load this on. Now, the one thing we didn't look at is that other, the black trailer, the RB loader. And that's that works the same as these. It's nothing exciting. I'll, I'll load a bale onto there, too, for your, for your viewing pleasure. There we go. There's the last bale. That guy's ready to transport. He's full. One, two, three, four. Yep. So you put it in the transporter position, and you're ready to go to market. With your four bales, approximately, I think, thirty dollars or $40,000 worth of cotton right there in the game. All right, here's what I wanted to test with you. I wanted to see if the bale will automatically, or automagically, as we say, unload. Let's see. Looks like it's going to. It's wrapping the bale right now. Yep, it's unloading that bale. I did not press any buttons. I have, The hired worker is not working right now. I'm actually doing this myself. And it has dumped the bale. And it's going to automatically put the next bale out. And it's going to sit there until the next bale comes in. Or you can dump the bale out like so. Now, I don't think that we can unload the harvester. Let's see what happens here. Turn off harvester. Nope, there is no unload yet. All right, so we're going to pop this thing down here and load it onto this wagon here and see how that works. Should just suck it up, just like the other one. Yep, there it goes. So now that wagon's full. This field has given us a nice yield of cotton. I'll put it into walk mode. There we go. So there we go. We've we tested out all the equipment for this DLC. Um, so let's go back here and talk turkey once again. Do you think it's worth it? That's up to you. Um, I think the price point's pretty good. It's basically you know, less than a dollar for each, you know, per piece of equipment when you look at it that way. Each piece of equipment, you know, costs less than a buck, including a new harvester. Uh, I will say the price in-game is a little shocking. Uh, this harvester does cost uh, $200 and, or $825,000, I think. Yeah, eight forty-seven. dollars Whew, double almost the price of the case. So you're going to have to save up a while or do some leasing and have a really, really big field for it to be worthwhile. But it is there for you um, in case you want it. So I, do I feel like it's worth it? I would buy it. Um, I think it's a cool add-on to the game. But it is expensive, and it is, you know, in-game it's expensive. But the actual price for 5 bucks, it's not bad. It does give us some new stuff. Um, definitely some new handling, a, d a new crop shape, really, I guess, if you want to look at it like that. Um, and some cool new equipment. So, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, first look slash sneak peek. And uh, we'll see you next time. And uh, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. Have a great night.